how you guys doing? This is William Sikorsky and I'm doing it in a bag. Uh, it's rainy outside so I decided to do it in a bag. Uh, it's in my daughter's room slash playroom. Got my disc golf bag in the background. So that's where I do my practice putting and stuff. Decided to do it in a bag and I did some a lot of change ups to my bag. I uh, slimmed it down to only I think 12 disc. I tried to do less disc and just judge the shot with the disc and it's actually helped me out 99% I mean really it has proved my disc golf game so here we go start out with my putter AVR putter love it I love the feel of it. it's old school I love the feel of it just never go wrong with the two chain AVR then for my up shots and for my outside circle putts it, I'm going with the old school Rhino. Love it. Love it. Always. Then we're going with my mid ranges. Mid ranges I have is a middle flight gator. Love it. I use it for my over several shots uh, in the wind, up shots in the wind, whatever I need in the wind. This will do it. Then we go with the DX Rock. It's for my turnover to straight or my straight to turnover. Love it. Then we go with another DX Rock. This is my newest one, so it's more a straight to over stable. Or if I pop it out there straight, it'll just go straight and hold that line straight. And then we go with a classic Rock. It's over stable. So I just pop it out there, go straight to overstable, or if I need to do a ante and let it fold ante and let it come back on the hyzer, that's what I hit this for. So love it. This is my first ace disc, and it's a pure disc. Love it. <laughs> then we go with my fairway drivers. Uh, it is a monster. Uh, love it. Love the monsters. Uh, the monster is uh, kind of like a T-bird, faster T-bird, a little overstable. Love it. That's what I use for if I need a faster T-bird or basically a faster firebird. That's what I'm going to use this for. And then we'll go with our firebird. I uh, love it. It's candy mold, real overstable. Has a ton of glide. For this one, it has real good glide in it. It's always comes back. It never flips, never does anything. And I had this disc for a while and it hasn't had any chips up and I mean I really love this new plastic that they have. If you haven't tried this one, try it. It really is a good disc. And then we go with the T-Bird. Uh, I love the T-Bird man. Uh, especially this one. This one's uh, so it's just a regular old 12 time. Um, but it has that, when I, when, I, when I pop it out there straight, it will just have a turn over and then go back to stable beautiful for that. That's, I can judge that shot off of that. You know, or I can throw it on the hyzer and it stays on the hyzer. It's a really, really beautiful disc. I really love it. Really. And then we go to with a, another real good disc. Whip it. I use that for like my gator. If I need something a little bit longer than my gator, then I'll use the whip it. I love it. That's what I use it for. If I can't use my gator and I need a little tad more, then the gator and less than the firebird and I'll pop it out the whip it. And then we go with my distance drivers. Uh, there's only three of them. I mean really I only have that's three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen disc. Uh, we go with the Millennium um, Scorpion. It's Millennium Scorpion. Uh, it's it's basically it's a SDS mode and I use it for my over stable shots I know in the wind I can pop that sucker out real hard and I know it always come back always beautiful disc then we go with the destroyers uh, this one's one of my oldest destroyers but it still has the over stable stability and but it had a turn but at the end right at the end it will come back and that's what I use for especially for if I need something to turn over then come back at the end for some good distance, this is what I'll be carrying out. And that's, last but not least, 
is a katana, star katana. Uh, it's pretty light, 167. Uh, I can throw that on a real hyzer, and it'll come up, flip over, turn over, and come back on the end. Uh, I can get I can get some mad distance out of this one. I love it for my my bombers. But if there's no no wind, I'm throwing it. But if there is any wind, I won't throw it. It will just stay in the back. But I mean that's it really. That's that's what I've been using uh, in my bag, and it's actually been working out really good. Um, I mean, it really has. So I've been finding discs that fly the same as all these and just have them for backups. If, if I ever lose one, I have one to back it up. That's basically what I use it, uh, my backups. You know, I'll just find them, works just like it, put it in the back, you know, put it in the background for it, waiting for me to, if I ever lose one, have one to back it up. But, I mean, these discs are, that's it. But it's been helping me out 100%. I mean, really. I just find a shot, so oh, there it is. It's my uh, scorpion. Throw the scorpion, boom. Oh, there it is, T-bird. Throw the T-bird, boom. I don't have to look around and say, well, this T-bird flies just like this T-bird, and this T-bird has a little bit less stable than this T-bird. I just find a disc that does, you know, like the T-bird. I have that S shape and come back. If I don't need that S shape, Firebird. If I need a little bit longer Firebird, to have that S shape monster if I need a turnover shot okay a turnover shot then I then I come with my rocks because I can throw on rocks almost as far as I can throw these so you, you know you know what I mean like I need a, I need a turnover shot boom I need a straight shot boom I need a straight to overstable boom I just need a super overstable don't need to go far boom up shot putter you know I need a real mad distance and has a turnover but come back at the end. Boom. I need something that, not as far as the katana, turnover and overstable. Boom, there it is. If I need a extremely overstable disc and never come back, still the katana because all I got to do is put that katana on an ante and it will, it will go and it won't come back. It will just go. But if I throw it on a hyzer, it will come back. If I just need an overstable, you know, destroyer, to smash, you know, smash it real hard. Boom. And then, you know, more distance than the gator. Boom. I mean, that's all you need, really. You don't need a lot of disc. I don't have extra putters because, for me, I feel like if, before I start a round and I go practice putt, it gets in my head if I miss. So in my round, it'll be in my head and I'll end up messing up. So I don't practice putt or practice throw or anything. I just go up. Get focused, play my round. Because if I make the first putt in the round, then it's then it's you know positive all the way through the round. If I were out there practicing putting and and miss a couple of them, it gets to my head, and I just can't play like that. So I decided to no no practice putting before I throw. I mean before the round, and no practice throws before the round because like in a tournament, I had a tournament, and we were waiting on the five minute call. And I said, you guys, do you mind if I throw uh, this hole a couple times to get practice up? So I did, and every time I practiced, landed right up next to the hole. Good birdie. So I had that confidence in my head. Okay, I get that birdie. But as soon as I threw that first hole, right out on the tournament, whenever it's ready to roll, I messed up. I shanked it. And I was like, why did I do that when, when I practiced this right before the round? Because when I did throw those couple, you know, four or five of them was right next to the basket, but one or two was shanked, and I had that in my head, and that's what happened. So I decided not to do that anymore, so I don't have extra putters or nothing like that. So, and it's better on your back. <laughs> it's uh, less distance to pick from, and you just know when you walk up to the hole what hole, we, what disc you want to throw, because you don't have a lot to choose from, so you know that's my destroyer line. That's my old Saber Destroyer. That's my Katana. That's my T-Bird. That's my Firebird. You know what I mean? So less is actually better for me. Uh, and I was just trying to explain it to you guys. And maybe you guys say, yeah, that's, that's actually, it's working for me. So just try it out. Start taking out distance you don't even use anymore. Just take them out. You know, I used to have, you know, over 20 of them. And they're just dead weight because I never used them. So let me know what, uh, if it works out, comment. 
it works out, cool. Let me know. All right, thank you guys. Bye.